Hi everyone, I'm Sandra Ray. Today I want to talk to you about fear. And fear is one of those things that we often think about our really big fears when we think about fear. We think about you know, a fear of heights or a fear of flying or a fear of public speaking or things that we fear and that bring us to a standstill that we start shaking in our boots, so to speak. Um, but fear can be really insidious and it's often not those big things that we have to worry about so much. It's the little daily fears that get into our minds and our mindset and that can take us over. So that's not to say that fear is bad, that we need to get rid of fear. Fear is an essential part of survival but we have gone the other end of the scale. We've allowed fear to take over our lives. And it's not just a survival mechanism anymore. It's something that we are allowing to keep us in a position of playing small, to keep us small and not doing the things that we want to do, not doing the things that we love to do because we're afraid. So for example, if you are looking at little daily fears, um, it can be something really simple. You might be sitting in an office and the person next to you, you might be afraid to talk to them or you might be afraid to reach out to somebody in your office and say, hey, do you want to go for a coffee? Or you might be the other end of the scale and you might feel that you always need to be talking to other people and have people around you and that you don't like being alone. So fear can work both ways. Similarly, if you're in a meeting, you might find that you're afraid of speaking up and that you don't want to speak your truth or say what's on your mind. Even if you disagree with something in the meeting, you might find that you stay quiet and you don't talk out. And the other side of that is you might feel that you always have to voice your opinion because you're afraid that something bad will happen if you don't speak up. And that can be the same on both sides if you stay quiet because you're fearful, but equally if you are always speaking out because you're fearful. So if it's the first case, you might like to try practicing just saying that one thing that's on your mind, just speaking out if you're afraid of speaking up and just saying, well, I think it's you know this or that and this is my opinion. If you're always speaking out and you're afraid to keep silent, because you're worried that something bad is going to happen, then maybe just sit in the meeting or sit wherever it is, if you're in a conversation, and just allow yourself to be quiet for a minute. Just think about what's going to happen if you don't speak up when you're used to always saying, no, it's this way, it should be this way, this is how I see it. And just allow yourself to sit with that and don't let yourself speak out and just stay in that stillness and just allow yourself just to feel how that feels. Now, if it's something really important, of course, speak out. But if you find that you're always voicing your opinion and always saying, no, it's my way or the highway, I believe it's this way and everybody else has to fall in line, then that's a fear. It's a fear. It's coming from control and it's coming from the need to control other people because you fear that if you don't control other people, that something bad is going to happen. So just look at your life, look at the ways that fear is coming up for you. If you are you know, afraid of doing something, it could be something really simple. You might be in a situation where you just find yourself holding back a little bit and you notice that the fear is coming up. Noticing is the first step, becoming aware of the fear is the first step. So become aware of it. You don't have to do anything straight away, but just become aware of where your fears are coming up in your life. And then once you're becoming aware of what you're doing, how these fears are playing out, begin to start acting on your fear. Begin to start consciously doing what you fear doing. So if you're afraid of speaking out, consciously make the effort to speak out. If you're afraid of making that connection with somebody, consciously reach out to somebody who you feel you can connect with. If you're afraid of doing something, do it sooner rather than later because it will liberate you when you do it. You will feel so much better when you do what you're fearful of doing. That little tiny step is all it takes. And then the next time it becomes easier and easier and easier each time you do it. So do the thing that you fear. 
if you haven't read it, read the book, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway by Susan Jeffers. And just begin to make those, talks, those little small steps towards doing what you want to do, towards being more expansive, towards not being stuck down and playing small in your fears and allowing yourself to start living at a higher level. You will absolutely find that your life transforms if you do this every day. So good luck. Let me know how you get on. Let me know in what way you've stepped out and what way you have approached your fears and what you have done to become aware of those fears. Becoming aware, as I said, is the first step. So just that awareness alone is huge. So good luck. Enjoy your day and I'll speak to you soon.